All right, guys, in this week's edition of Just the Drills, I'm going to give you all the secrets to hitting perfect bunker shots every time. All right, guys, so we're here with Just the Drills again. Welcome back. Christopher Howard joined by Max Cooper. So I'm going to talk to you today about some of the secrets that I teach my players to hitting perfect bunker shots every time. Now, perfect bunker shots start with your setup. Okay, so a lot of people teach setting up open with the wide open face and cutting across it. I don't necessarily love that. It's one way to do it, but I prefer my players to get the face open, set up square, as we're gonna see Max do here, right to your target. I don't need my players cutting across the golf ball. I wanna see an up and down golf swing with a lot of release. So that club face is set up wide open. He is square to that target right out in front of us. Everything's level. There's probably a little bit of pressure, more pressure into the front foot, but we're not super leaned either way. And we're just gonna make a nice, normal, wider backswing. Go ahead and hit one for me. Right next to the hole. All right, so after we learn how to set up to the golf ball, we wanna learn about what our golf swing's doing, okay? So I like my players to have a shallower angle of attack. I don't want the club digging, going straight down into the ground. It's really hard to get spin on your bunker shots when you're too vertical into the golf ball. So I always set up a drill that I give my players. Now, it can be used for a lot of different reasons. It can be used to just teach the fundamentals of the swing, but it also can be used to judge what you do. So I like to draw a couple lines in the sand, you know, about six inches apart, and I set my players up. Go ahead and set up there. Now, I want all my players to get in here and make contact with the trail line and then exit somewhere near the front line. So that means you're gonna have to be fairly shallow. Go ahead and do that for me. So that's perfect. It went line to line. It's not super steep. It's gonna get underneath the ball and help lift the ball up, but we're not hitting way down on it, right? So that's the perfect swing. Now you can take that line drill and put it to use to really teach you how to hit golf balls. So if I put a golf ball somewhere in the middle of the two lines there and I set Max back up and I have him make the motion, he should be able to hit this shot solidly if he makes contact in between the two lines. Ball bounces out, really good shot. So the line drill is an excellent drill to do when you're trying to learn a lot about your angle of attack. It will tell you everything that's going on, plus teach you the basic concept, right? You see people hit off boards that they bury underneath. This is just a great drill anyone can do from the golf course. Now, when we're taking the club back, we want to make sure the club face stays open the entire time, okay? We're not trying to have this club face shut down. So we're gonna wanna feel extension in our lead wrist. So go ahead and set up here. Now, if we're just doing this slowly, you'll notice that the club face is open here at setup. And as we go back, it's still pointing up, right? We never wanna get in here and curl it towards the golf ball. We wanna leave it open. Now, if we feel that we're going to the top there and then working through, the feel is that we could hold a cup of water, you know, from about hip high to hip high on both sides of that face. If we were able to balance the water, that would be leaving the club face open. So once you can get in a condition where you're not shutting that face down and you're not opening it even more, you're gonna be in a really good position to get the ball up in the air when you're leaving the bunker. That's just a great visual, you know, holding the cup of water that I like all my players to do when they're really trying to learn to pop the ball up and land it soft. So when a player is in a bunker, there's two things that we see them make mistakes with a lot of time. They either drive really hard towards the target or they get in a position where they're falling back away from the golf ball. Both of those could cause major, major, major issues. If you're driving towards the target, you're gonna start throwing that club really low into the ground. You could get very steep. And if you're falling away, you move low point too far back and you could start throwing it thin. That's where you end up in the lip of the bunker without getting it out, okay? So both of those shots are really, really tragic. So set up for me real quick. I just want you to feel a turn back. Turn back and turn through. No sway to either side, no fall back. Boom. That's what you want your bunker motion to be every time. Just a simple turn. So you can rehearse that, okay? You can do it in a mirror. You could do it in the bunker. Just throw sand. Feel yourself finishing 
with a nice, tall, balanced finish every time when you're trying to pop a bunker shot onto the green. So one of the things I want my players doing when they're in the bunker, right? I want them practicing to multiple targets. So I have a few targets on this green. This is a small green here that I work with. So Max is gonna go ahead and hit a couple shots to different targets to really, you know, learn the feel for different shots. I would prefer longer shots, shorter shots. You know, when you're practicing, just try and feel what each swing needs to do to get the ball to go where you want it to go. All right, guys, so I hope these drills and keys can help you hit better bunker shots. Remember, you don't want to drive and be steep into the ball. Do the line drill to learn about your angle of attack. Own it and learn how to improve it out of that drill. Make sure when you set up, you're square to the target and balanced, okay? You even want to get lower into the ground. That's fine. That's good. That'll help you make a good swing. A little bit of pressure forward, but don't lean hard towards your target. If you could do all that, your bunker game should improve pretty fast, and you'll enjoy hitting in the bunkers versus hitting in the rough. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.